Hey everyone, it's Ditto from Reef to Reef. A huge feature has just come out within the GHL Connect app that allows you to configure and assign PAB devices through your iPhone and Android device. We used to have to use the GHL desktop software to do this, but no more. For this feature to work, your Profilux controller, either the P4 or the P4E Essentials, needs to be on wireless firmware version 6961 or above. If you're not sure what wireless firmware version you're running on your Profilux controller, you can find that information in the GHL Connect iPhone Android app in the network menu option of your Profilux controller. Your P4 or P4E device firmware also needs to be at least version 7.2 or above. Again, if you're not sure what version of firmware you're running on your Profilux controller, you can find that information within the GHL Connect iPhone and Android app in the system menu of your Profilux controller. If you need to upgrade your Profilux wireless firmware or your Profilux controller, I've placed the links in the video description on where you can download the latest software from GHL's website and the GHL how-to videos that explain on how to upgrade both the firmware of your device and the wireless firmware of your device on the GHL YouTube site. I have already updated my Profilux 4E controller this morning with the latest wireless firmware and controller firmware. So let's show how easy it is now to configure a device on the controller using the GHL Connect app. First, on your iPhone or Android device, open up the GHL Connect application. I just installed a new power bar on my Profilux 4E controller, which is on my frag tank. Go ahead and select a Profilux controller. After your Profilux controller dashboard comes up, Go to the hamburger icon in the upper left-hand corner and choose the system menu option. Once you're within the system menu options, scroll down, and a new menu option is going to appear labeled Profilux Aquabus or PAB. Underneath that, it's going to have an option called Assign and Configure or Connect PAB Devices. Click on this menu option. A new menu option will come up showing what devices are now assigned. Since my Profilux controller has no devices assigned, my menu option is blank. On the top of the screen, you will have a button labeled Assign Device. This option will allow you to assign new PAB devices to your Profilux controller. Upon clicking the Assign Device button, your Profilux controller will go out and search for devices that have not yet been assigned to your controller. As you can see, it found my Power Bar 5.1. Click on the device you wish to add to your Proflux controller and hit Save. A box will appear stating Saving PAB Assignment. Upon clicking Yes, you'll be reconnected to your device. You will now see the device that was just added will appear on the Assigned Devices of your Proflux Bus PAB menu. A small gear will also appear next to the Assigned Devices. Clicking on the gear icon will allow you to configure the starting number of your device. For example, I just installed my power bar and I wish to configure the switch ports of the device. I would like my first power bar to have switch port numberings of ports 1 through 5. Therefore, I would click Start Numbering and type in 1 and click Save. It is now that easy to assign and configure PAB devices on your GHL Profilux controller with the GHL Connect app. I am now going to disconnect from my frag tank controller and connect to my main tank controller and show the other devices that can be assigned and configured through the PAB configuration. I now am my other Profilux controller. After clicking on the hamburger icon, I am going to go down to the system. Notice now I have the assign and configure connected PAB devices. Clicking on this, you're going to notice I have multiple PAB devices dosers, to the touch, to expansion boxes. So for an example, I can look at the configuration or if I was installing a new slave GHL doser, I could click on the small gear icon and it would ask me where do I want my pump to start numbering. And for an example, this one is starting on number 13. It's also showing you on this specific slave doser, it only has three pumps. If you look at, for an example, my expansion box and hit the configuration, you're going to notice that it's asking me, is the temperature active? What is my pH and redox port set to? What is my second redox and pH port set to? And also, what is my salinity probe set to on my expansion box? 
You can also look at maxi settings. So here's an example of a maxi doser. Again, it'll tell you how many pumps were installed on the maxi, along with asking you on what pump number you would wish to have your doser start with. Well, there you have it. How easy it is now to configure and install new PAB devices on your GHL ProFlex controller. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, or you can look me up on Reef to Reef. This is Ditto, signing off.